I'm going to get to the river, follow the river, and then uh, take a right, and then a left at Albuquerque, and then another right, and then we'll be at the Draft Dodgers cabin. Simple, right? Uh, ah, nom, 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 nom. Good morning, survivors. Paulie Jr. here, and welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode with Pablo Pudgewood here in the community hall of Thompson's Crossing. And why does my head hurt so much? And my feet are aching, and I think I pulled a calf muscle. Uh, did we go dancing last night? I don't know. What do what we? Yep. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, we got our dancing shoes on, our nice white dress shirt, and our jeans. And I'm surprised we don't have a hangover here in the uh, status window. <laughs> Must have been a good night, because I don't remember much, except for the dancing part. Uh, I don't know. It was good. It was a good time. Um, Punchwood just sat here and moped, but I had fun. So anyway, let's get redressed because we got we got things to do. Let's take those off. Let's put on the uh, we're gonna wear these little puppies right here, the ragged insulated boots because they're pretty awesome. And um, yeah, let's throw those on. We do have to fix them up, but they're better than the combat boots as far as I can tell. And sadly, we have to take off that nice dress shirt. One little stain here on the sleeve, wiping my face uh, with something. I'm not sure what. Oh my gosh, dude, you are so pale, Punchwood. We got we got to do something about that. <laughs> Let's put on the Coetion sweater here. I did fix it up a little bit, up to 84% now. Supposed to be fantastic that thing, and we'll put that on the outside. Oh, I could have worn that to the dance. That's kind of nice too. And my jackets. Where's my jackets? Where's my pants? Holy smokes! What the heck happened last night? I don't know. No questions asked. We don't ask questions. Let's just get dressed and let's go. Put the jackets on and I think that's everything. <laughs> okay, well that was fun. Now, what time is it? All right, it's it's actually late morning. We got to get moving. I'm going to grab... Oh, that's ruined. We don't want that. Drop it. Drop it. All right, now we don't want that, but we do want uh, Wilderness Kitchen. And what else should we bring? We're, we're leaving, by the way. So we're going to pack it up and boogie. I don't think we need any tea or coffee this morning. I think we'll be okay. Um, doesn't sound like there's a big storm out there. We can just go out and check. But we're just going to head to Molly's, basically. We're going to bring some of the stuff back to Molly's. And then probably get prepared for a trip to... I'm thinking of the Skeeter's Ridge and beyond i think skeeter's ridge and the draft dodgers cabin is up there i, and I think anything for a drink right oh now. yeah hold on buddy what you didn't drink enough last night holy cow you maniac <laughs> uh yeah so we're gonna go up and look for skeeter's ridge draft dodgers cabin and i think the air, the plane crash is up there as well if i recall correctly um we're gonna leave some of the stuff behind i don't want to be too heavy I guess we'll bring the feathers. They're pretty light, right? Uh, the matches. We're actually going to leave these matches and bring our wooden matches. I guess we'll bring the extra stem and probably... Yeah, we'll leave that flare here in case we need it someday uh, when we come back. And the dry shirt we're going to put in here. Uh, I cooked up some fish last night. We'll just have to eat it, maybe this morning. And let's leave the shoes here, too. All right, that's good. I, I just don't want to be overweight. Um, and we have a lot of food outside, too. We probably don't need to bring any of that. Bring two books. That should be fine. And we got plenty of charcoal. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's go. We'll come back for this stuff. We'll leave it here. Let it cure. And then um, we'll come back for it at some point. We're going to be in Paradise Valley for a little while longer, I do believe. Let's go check the temps. Oh, it's snowing. Let's grab something to drink, like some sodas here. There you go. That should be good for the hangover. A little carbonation. And how about another one? I'm going to leave all this food right here, except for maybe the coffees. We will bring the coffees. Well, let's eat our fish. We do have some cooked fish. Oh, wow. Look at that. 6.6 .6 pounds of fish. That should last a while. Uh, let's go ahead and eat this fella right here. And we are a little thirsty still, so oh boy, the wolvesies. Everybody's getting up early this morning. Let's just drink some water. Uh, okay, that's good. I think that's good. Let's just go back inside real quick. 
just want to do one quick thing and then we'll be on our way you know i'm thinking of actually bringing this um wolf pelt how heavy is that yeah i think we can carry this stuff it's not too heavy and the birch sapling and we're still a tiny bit underweight but yeah i wanted to write some notes in here we do have a section for writing notes someone said hi <laughs> i think that was punch when he left me a note we're gonna put down here what we left behind at thompson's all right thompson's hall what do we leave behind books uh lots of wood food drink so all right that's good so now we know what we've left behind i actually write this stuff down in a google doc too but it would be fun to have it in the game as well all right out we go we did grab the rifle didn't we yeah we did and the ammo fantastic okay let's uh well let's go let's go back to molly's we have completed this area i want to go to molly's and then up to skeeter's ridge in the draft dodgers cabin and we'll loot those two locations and the airplane crash is supposed to be up there too as far as i know i mean i know it was in winter mute story mode but i think they left it in for the survival mode as well and if that is the case we will um snatch some more food because they should have all that lovely airplane food in those uh packages frozen packages oh boy wolf he's on the move he's moving fast what's he doing i don't think he saw us we hear any growling maybe he's chasing the bunny wabbit oh man he really is on the move isn't he <laughs> where's he going <laughs> he's late for something late for the late for the dance that was last night buddy yeah he's cruising isn't he it's weird so i don't know what's up here i think that one of these roads just leads toward the um around to signal hill and then the cave system where we uh can leave pleasant valley and we will do that eventually but i'm not quite done yet with the unpleasant valley which i'm finding pretty fun to be honest it's not so bad yeah there's the road and i think that just swings around and goes all the way back to molly's but this is a faster route fastest route between two points is a straight line am i right yes two more wolves over there all right we gotta find the body that we had discovered on the way in here um apparently i missed a skill book next to the frozen bud day i forget where, exactly where that is but i think it's closer to molly's on the other side of the bridge here so don't let me forget about that somebody pointed it out in the comments several people pointed it out and keep those likes the feedback the tips the tricks coming they are very much appreciated of course is that a deer there's a deer yeah so this new this this new sweater is supposed to be one of the better sweaters in the game um it's a little heavy but it's got great warmth and waterproofness and these boots too are one of the better pairs of boots they're also a little bit heavy i think the mobility uh hit is like uh yeah negative 12 percent but 50 percent waterproofness is really good and when we get these things fixed up to 100 percent they'll be even more um more better against the wind and insulation so that's why i left my combat boots behind all right we got some derelict farm buildings over there to the right we haven't been there yet but i'm not too concerned about those i don't think you can go inside any of those buildings so the loot's probably not going to be super good there's a deer little doe but we are right now very heavy and i would prefer just to get back to molly's and drop everything and then head up to skeeters and the draft dodgers cabin super light before the sun goes down we can actually stay at one of those places probably I think the Skeeter's Ridge location is an old derelict home, but there's a, a basement that is still intact, and we can go inside there. And then the Draft Dodgers cabin, as far as I know, is a is a full is a real cabin. We can go inside and spend the night if we get stuck up there, which we probably will. I mean, all in all, this is a pretty good day. Got a little bit of snow, so that makes us wet. 
Yep, it's going right through the pants. Even the boots are a little bit wet, but the combat boots would be even worse right now. So yeah, the outer layers are getting, getting a little moist. But we'll dry up at Molly's, so it's not a big deal. But other than that, the temperatures are perfectly fine. All right, keep your eyes open for the hut. There it is. It's just a little barn out here or something. I forget exactly what, but there was a frozen frozen dude inside and a booklet. Maybe they got bored to death reading this book, whatever it is. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Some kind of a skill book. Uh, hi, we're back. Oh, yep, how did I miss that? Could end up being useful. I bet it will be. Practical gunsmithing. We will take it. I didn't miss anything else here, did I? Don't think so. All right, we're still underweight. Yeah, by not much. By point two two. <laughs> so we're pretty close. Let's get back on the road again. Yeah, I think this leads to the cave system right here. So when we want to leave, we don't even have to go back to Signal Hill. I think we just follow the river out. And the cave is over there. In that cliff wall. Up we go. Back on the road again. It is a beautiful day. Hopefully this temperature doesn't change. Although I wish it would stop snowing. <laughs> it is beautiful. We haven't had any snow here. Where I live. In, in southern New England. At least I'm getting it in my game. I know some places in the country are getting absolutely slammed with snow and rain too. I guess out in California they had some massive rainstorms for days. The older I get, the less I appreciate snow though because it, it does take a lot of work. <laughs> Shoveling, um, cleaning off the cars. Grab that stick right there. Oh, hey buddy! Wow, that one stick put us over the edge for the sprain affliction. What's going on? I hear music. Nothing too crazy. Shot a wolf over here. Did I pick up the casing? I don't know. I know I, I forgot the casing back at the bridge from yesterday, but I'm not going back for it. Not now. It's too late. I meant to ask for snowshoes for Christmas this year. It's something I'd like to get into, snowshoeing. Seems like it would be fun, as long as you have snow. And a decent workout. Because I'm a, I'm a fitness guy. I love the summers and the warmer weather because I'm out on my bike or running pretty much every day at some point in the day or after work. So in the winters when it's just cruddy out, I just feel like I get to get off my butt and do something. Um, so snowshoes seems like it would be perfect for me. Anybody out there snowshoe? If you do, let me know down in the comments. What brand you have? How do you like them? And where do you go? Like, I mean, we need snow, obviously. I can't go snowshoeing without without snow. Is the bear gone? The bear left! Wow. Some, something ate him, I guess. Oh, by the way, this porch, this is coded as indoor location. Ow! <laughs> this door's always open out. So, this stuff's gonna have to go outside. Um, or else it's gonna degrade. So let's let's pick it up. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, oh we are. Are you kidding me? Every little rose hip fell separately. <laughs> wow! I dropped them in a stack, but they all scattered out. All right, we'll just dump it right out here for now. We'll be around. So it should stay frozen here. We're going to drop that fish as well. Baked smallmouth. That's a lot of food. Uh, the mushrooms and the rose hips, I'll just hang on to. They don't, they're not that heavy, and we're just going to prepare them anyway. All right. Close the door. In we go. Whew. Awesome. Back at Molly's house. And we can dry off now. So our pants are really, really soaked. Let's check on our... Whoop, where's everything? Where's everything? We've been robbed! <laughs> Here it is. Let's check the hides. 33% cured for the bear hide. And the guts, 77-ish. 77. And the sticks. 
are 51, 34. All right, well, it's coming along. It's coming along, and I will drop over here the, uh, the other guts and hide. We'll put it right here in the living room. Not that. Wolfie hide. Bloop. Right there, that's 10% cured. And then the guts right next to it. All right, perfect. We'll come back for all this eventually. And don't forget that stick. Put that over here. This one's cured. Oh, I didn't even notice it was fully cured. All right, we'll just leave it on the ground. We don't need it right now. I guess it was cured when I found it. Didn't even notice. All right, so let's um, appear on the pack and drop some things. Get nice and light and get prepared for our journey to Skeeter's Ridge and the Draft Dodger's cabin. So give me a minute and I'm going to get prepared for that. We certainly don't need to carry all this stuff. All right, we're back. We're sitting by the fire here in the kitchen, just drying off the clothes. Oh, they're done. They're done. New cargo pants are now nice and dry. They were soaked, and I took them off, and uh, and I dropped them here by the fire, so they dry off a little faster. We're also cooking up some coffee here and some tea, uh, and then I guess we should head out, even though it's pretty stormy out there. You can hear the wind blowing and knocking things around, but I do want to try to make for the uh the draft dodgers cabin tonight i think we can get there in time it is uh early evening i think we should i think we can make it all right we're gonna grab um we don't want to drink that want to take the tea we're gonna drink one of the coffees ah delicious and then we'll just take that one and we'll hang on to it so we have a few coffees for the road if we need them uh, one of these coal you know we're not gonna need all of these let's drop Drop the two cold, uh, the iced coffees. We'll leave these here. You don't drink iced coffee in the winter. Weirdos. We should probably grab a torch and just snuff it. Might need these for the, uh, wolfies. I think that's my second torch. We should be okay. All right. I think we're good to go. Um, I did get organized somewhat. I'm going to leave the rifle behind. Rifle and ammo here. It's just too heavy. And I want to be able to grab as much loot as possible. So we have the handgun. That should be fine. Left all of our reading material here. Cleaning kit and the sewing kit. And now, my friends, it is time to go. Got up. And let's slip out the back and head, I think it's to the north, to the Draft Dodgers cabin. And there it goes in the fire. Perfect timing. And do we have... Uh, oh, we should probably eat something right now, right? Yeah, let's eat some maple syrup. Oh, that doesn't hydrate, huh? Nah, it's too thick and sticky and gooey. But that's fine. Now, let's go ahead and just have some water then. Top off. And we still have 0 0.70 gallons. That should be enough for this trip. All right, out we go. Okay, out we go. And how bad is it? It's, it's bad. Yep, it's pretty bad. But at least we got the wind to our backs, I think. Um, I'm not honestly really sure where we were supposed to go. <laughs> I think it's in this direction. Toward a, a river, which will be to our right, pretty sure. If, uh, if my direction sense is correct. I'm going to get to the river, follow the river to the north. It's a north-south river. And then uh, take a right on another river. And then a left at Albuquerque. And then another right. And then we'll be at the Draft Dodgers cabin. Simple, right? Except that I can't see anything and I have no idea where we are right now. If I'm not going in the right direction, then this whole thing is going to be... Uh, it's going to be bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a whiteout. It's a literal whiteout and not even the wolves are out here today. They're not even stupid enough to be out in this stuff. Um, okay. I... Would have thought we'd hit the river by now. But maybe we're going in the wrong direction. I don't have a compass, so I don't really know. Wait, there's a road. What the heck? Okay, road's not terrible. Hold on. I think this is going to be a bridge here. I think it's going to be a bridge here. And if there is, then I think I might know where we are. Okay, this is good. This is good, maybe. I think. I don't know. Okay, the orchard's to the right. This is the... North, this is the south, the north-south river. We're going to cross it here. 
I wanted to follow the river, but I don't want to get stuck down there in case the banks are really high. We can't climb out. So we're going to go over like this. If you follow this road, I think it leads to those derelict farm buildings. Let's get closer to the rocks and maybe block some of this wind. Yeah, yeah, there we go. One down arrow. Not too shabby. We got some pretty decent clothes. Although those boots do need to be repaired. I just don't have the time to do it right now. Maybe we'll do that at the Draft Dodgers cabin. Let's pick up a few sticks. Now I can't see anything, but hopefully we're going to bump into another river. I'm going to try to stay on a straight course. And if we get to the river here, this is the one that goes east-west perpendicular to the north-south that we just left. And then I will know precisely where I am. Well, not exact, but <laughs> sort of. I just have to stay straight. It's hard to tell here in this mess. It is good we have the wind to our back, so it's giving us a nice shove forward. I wish we had a compass. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The wind's getting stronger somehow. And Punchwood's getting chilly. Oh, no. There goes our warming up benefit. Hey, now. Wait a second. I brought two coffees. This one's still hot? Holy cow. Great. Take a sip. That'll warm you right up. Look at that. Look at that. All warmed up again. Fantastic. Um, there should be a river here. I feel like I'm running. I mean, we might run right past the Draft Dodgers cabin. <laughs> and I wouldn't even see it. But I don't think it's on this side of the river. We have to cross the river first. Oh, no. Hey, this isn't good. I got to swing to the left. I think I missed a turn at Albuquerque. That's not where we want to be. I think we're walking um, parallel to the river that we need to cross. It should be over here somewhere. Need to find there it is. There it is. There it is. Hold on. Grab them stalks. Sure, why not? Get some fire starting material and a little bit of food to nibble on. Okay, we're crossing the river. I don't know how far we went uh, in that farm area. I wasn't... I didn't want to go that far east. Uh, okay, so I don't know where the Draft Dodgers cabin is from here, but I think it's up in this area somewhere. Maybe to the left. Or maybe to the right. Or maybe straight ahead. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of maybes. Great. I'm never going to be hypothermic here in a moment, but I think it's over this way. Oh, man. I can't see anything. It's a complete whiteout. So cold. Yeah, I know, Just buddy. Lay down for a no, 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 no. We got to get indoors first. It's over here somewhere. Uh. I wonder if we do it. Oh, we can't do a survey here because because of the storm. It's around here somewhere. I can smell it. I smell that draft dodger a mile away. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Nothing. It's a mirage. Um. Hold on. Wait. No. 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 That might be something. I'm seeing things. Just trees. <laughs> oh no. This is bad. I got brain freeze. Yep, this is bad. I mean, if the storm wasn't here, we'd be able to probably see the cabin. Uh, I don't have a bedroll. Oh, boy. All right. Our condition is dropping here, too. I know it's here somewhere. And it's also getting dark. It's not going to be good. And we're back at the river. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. Because here's what I know. If we come up off the river again, the Draft Dodgers cabin is going to be right here. There's like a footpath. You guys see a footpath. I do not see a footpath. Let's try this again. We're going to come up and then go to the right. And I think that's where the cabin is. I just don't know how far... Uh, deep it is into the woods. But we might want to snatch up some sticks if we can find some to make a shelter out here. 
We might have to do that. We need 12 sticks. <laughs> As a last resort. Whoa. Are you kidding me? This storm is crazy. Oh, there it is. There it is. Unless it's a mirage. I think it's real. Get in. Get in, Poshwood. We made it. Woo. Right where I expected it. <laughs> you stick with me, Pudgewood. And uh, we find everything in the nick of time somehow. I don't know how, but it works. <laughs> okay, so this is, did it say Draft Dodgers Cabin? I didn't even notice. I was just so excited that we had found a place. It's got to be. There's nothing else out here. All right, well, let's loot the joint and see what we got. Better be worth the trip. Nothing so far except the book. Really? All right, you know what? We're going to... Bring out the lantern. Spark it up. Alright. Let's make sure we don't miss anything here. Check the drawers. Nothing. Oh boy. Come on. I think I can use this. That's not great, but we can break it down maybe. Do a little repair work. We'll probably end up sleeping here tonight. Because we can't go back out in that storm. For Skeeter's Ridge. A band-aid. And some wooden matches and a newspaper. Really? Not even one bullet? Not even one bullet. Holy cow. It's a draft dodger's cabin. I guess uh, maybe he was a pacifist or something. Uh, we got a soda. I guess that's okay. That's about it, my friends. Wow. And a bed. All right. Kill the light. Save that fuel for later. What time is it? Wow, if we go to sleep now, we're going to get a, a really long night's sleep. Oh, boy. Um, how are we doing on clothes? Everything's soaked. And we don't have a fireplace in here. So we're just going to have to let it dry off naturally. And I'm going to drop it all right on the ground. Drop trowel. Drop. Drop the jacket. Drop the toque. Drop the mittens. And take off the boots. Although, I might try to repair these since we have a little bit of daylight. Um, I wonder if we have enough daylight. Probably not. I'll make it halfway through that repair operation and then it might quit. And I don't want to use lantern fuel for that. Well then. Oh, my hypothermia has been fixed. That's good. What do we do tonight? Anybody bring... A deck of cards or something <laughs> yeah I don't think we're gonna have time to repair these because it does take like an hour and a half pretty much can't do a darn thing right now except maybe sharpen my knife and my hatchet we do have a whetstone wait a second are we sure this is the draft dodgers cabin it may not even be let me go outside and oh 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 the storm storm's gone too Great. Now, let's go back inside. And... Oh, it's a fishing cabin. Okay, well, it's not the Draft Dodgers cabin. Good. That's good news. That's good news, because I was kind of disappointed in the loot here. <laughs> so, we get another shot at this, guys. Of course, I have no idea where a fishing cabin is on the map. Um, I wonder if we can... Let's survey. Can we survey right now? Let's go outside and survey. And I know we don't have any clothes on, but this is just going to take a quick second. Feels like night is coming. You think? Punchwood, you're so astute. There we go. Cabin. Rose hips. And here's the farmhouse. Um, okay. Yep. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> Fishing cabin. Wherever that is, I'm going to have to look that up. We might have been on the wrong river the whole time. Again, hard to tell when you can't see anything. But I think what we'll do right now is... I can't do any repair work or anything, really, other than maybe sharpening something. It's too early to go to bed. 17 minutes to sharpen. Sure, we'll sharpen up the knife a little bit. Yeah, then we'll hop in bed, get a good night's rest, and then try to find our um, location. Ooh, our skill increased, too. Very, very good. Let's keep going, then. Gotta kill some time. Gotta get sleepy. 
There we go. 89%. Let's do the hatchet. 12 minutes for the hatchet. All right, 88 and 89%, pretty good. And let's uh, let's tear these up. 10 minutes. All right, one cured leather. Excellent. Okay, well, sharpening skill increased to 38. Fabulous. I can't see anything. All right, there's the window. Uh, I'm going to feel my way over to the bed. Oh, there it is. I got it. And get some sleep. Let me just check food and drink. We should probably... We don't really even need the tea tonight because we're probably going to get really good night's rest. So let's just drink the soda. That even fills the belly a tad. Pretty excellent. And now, my friends, let's go to sleep. I'm going to try for eight hours. Well, let's go nine. Good nine hours of sleep. Wake up fully rested. So good night. <laughs> You woke up fully rested. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> and it's still dark out. It's early in the morning, but dark. Great. So, yeah. What do we do now? <clears throat> uh, anybody know any good uh, jokes? <laughs> At least the weather sounds calm. <laughs> All right. I think what I might do is just pass the time. But maybe I should drink something first. A little bit of water. Can't get a fire started here to make anything, so we just have to drink good old Canadian lemonade. And we can have some breakfast this morning. Um, let's eat something that's getting cruddy. Just have some chips, I guess. Good enough. And I'm going to step outside. And look at the beautiful... Oh, 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 wait a minute. Is that an Aurora? It's the Aurora. There's nothing electric here. Oh, wow. Cool. But there's nothing we can do. <laughs> I know I don't have any shoes on right now or any clothes. But curious. Just want to walk around. See if there's anything here. Just the rose hips. Okay. All right. Back in quick. All right. I'm just going to wait it out for a little bit. And we'll head out as soon as the sun comes up and try to find that draft Dodgers cabin. And in the meantime, I might check the uh, wiki or a map or something to try to figure out what the heck we is. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make a Tinder plug out of that newsprint. There we go. Kill a little time. All right, hang tight. I'll be right back. Ooh, repair skill up to 70. Nice. Oh, I hear... I hear static. Is that a radio? I didn't even see a radio. Did you guys see a radio in here? But that would be the Aurora that starts up all the electronic devices. Uh, wait a minute. Where is it? <laughs> it's all around me, but I can't see it. Maybe maybe we've gone stir crazy. we got cabin fever or something. You can hear that, right? Static? Maybe it's just the electricity inside the walls or something. I don't know. Anywho, let's get dressed and let's go. I, oh, my pants still wet? Hold on. Oh, wow. They're still wet. Sheesh. All right. Well, we're going to have to wear wet pants. No big deal. It's not the first time. Won't be the last. Put on your toque there, feller. Um, all right. We got everything. I think it's time to go. It is very early in the morning. Uh, but why waste time? No reason to wait. Kill the light, gun up, and out we go. It's a beautiful day. We got the Aurora Borealis guiding us, my friends. All right, so I have an idea of where we are now. So we're right here. Molly's is there. Contemplation Bridge. I got my bearings, and uh, Skeeter's Ridge is right up here. By the way, this is the, the Draft Dodgers cabin. It is. There's no fishing cabin anywhere in the wiki or on any map. <laughs> so it is indeed the draft Dodgers cabin. We found it, just like I said I would. <laughs> uh, now we gotta we gotta climb up to Skeeter's Ridge. Um, I think we might be able to go around, but there's apparently a rope over here somewhere. So we'll just climb the rope. We're pretty light and not too tired. Oh, there it is. Yep. 
that's a rope. I'm gonna grab a few sticks though. Good to have. In case we get stuck in a storm again. It is a little chilly this morning, but at least it's not raging. Uh, it's not a raging blizzard. All right, drop the gun. We're going up. All right, you can do this, Pudgewood. You had a good nine hours of sleep last night, so no excuses. Although, wow, look at the fatigue. It's not easy climbing these cliffs, is it, Pudgewood? You're doing fine, though, buddy. What, do we just grab on his back or something, I guess? <laughs> Little extra weight, and we're not done. There's another rope. Catch your breath, pal. <laughs> I didn't know there were two ropes. Whoa, what was that? Is that just music? It sounded like a gunshot. I should have worn my blaze orange out here. Crazy hunters. All right. Um, do we have anything to drink that's hot? No, obviously not. This stuff's cooled off by now. We don't really need a drink at the moment, but... Uh, did I bring my cold coffees? I didn't bring any coffees, did I? I mean, I've got the coffee grind that we can whip up some coffees with, but... No. All right. Okay. You ready? Ready for round two? All right, let's do it. All the way up to the tippity top, you the man. Uh oh, where are the birds going? Is the storm coming? Doesn't it indicate like storm or something? Oh, look how beautiful that sky is, Budgewood. Actually, you know what? You focus on climbing. You can look at that beautiful sky when you get to the top. Get all of us up here safely. Thank you. Good job. All right. Now, Skeeter's Ridge, here we are. We should probably, should we do a survey? I don't think we need to do a survey here because we're still so close to this cabin. Um, let's just have a look down off the radio. There's the, uh, there's the derelict farm and Molly should be right over here somewhere. Yeah, there's Molly, as you can see the silo. Molly, up here. <laughs> cool, all right, yeah, I know, I know, it's cold. It's cold because it's early in the morning, but it's really not too bad. Let's go find Skeeter's cabin, which is around here somewhere. We'll do a survey there, put it on the map, and uh, hopefully it has better loot than the Draft Dodgers cabin. I don't know why they changed the name, but they clearly did. It's funny I didn't see it mentioned anywhere, but that was the Draft Dodgers cabin. There's no question about it. Uh, oh, 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 glowy wolf. But I think I saw the cabin too. I think that's it. But there's also a glowy wolf here, which means it's going to be super duper aggressive. And I don't think a flare or a torch or anything like that is going to work. I might just have to shoot it. Did he see us? I don't think he saw us. He was going in the other direction. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't just. Oh, he saw us. He did see us. He's coming. All right, get to the rope. Get to the rope. We might have to wait out this Aurora. Go back down. Down, down, down. Bye-bye. I am not messing with that thing, and I don't want to shoot it. Or waste ammo or try a flare against a, um, a, a Aurora wolf, I guess is what you call them. They're psycho. Okay, maybe we can wait right here. Will he go away? Yeah, that's right, pal. No opposable thumbs for you. Now he's going to be waiting up there for us. <laughs> I know it's cold. Oh, man. What a wrinkle. This is a wrinkle. I guess we could go back to the cabin. Maybe get another hour or two sleep now that we're tired again. <laughs> and wait for this Aurora to pass. Sorry, Punch, but I know you're doing a lot of climbing here. But we appreciate it. Going down is a lot easier than going up. It still makes you tired, but you don't go through your... Your stamina quite as quickly. You're already sleepy. You just woke up. I get it. I get it. You did all the climbing. I, I'll, I'll hand it to you. Is it safe down here? Yes. I don't think those wolves will come down here. Will they? Because I think you can go that way too and up around. The ropes just make it My fingers feel numb. a little quicker. Yeah, we're going to go back inside. Warm it up. Well... Seems like a waste, but it's still early. <laughs> Sun is on the rise. Um, why don't we get some rest? We could have some sardines. That should, um, does that hydrate a little bit? I think so. 
Yeah. All that tuna juice or something. Okay, let's hop back into bed. How are the clothes? The pants are still a little bit wet. I'm going to drop them on the floor because I think that does help. Not entirely sure. Just don't forget your pants in the morning. And let's get two hours of sleep, I think. Um, we're actually going to drink that tea. I know it's only two hours, but what the heck. Let's do it. Improved rest. Get two hours. Wake up with the sun shining. Good night. Again. Good night.